Hi friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to find out mean of an ordered distribution having frequency using both techniques. First, using normal method and second, using a shortcut method using your Casio FX Nano Non ES calculator. So let's start. These are our question. Here are some marks of students are given 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 denoted by X and number of students which got the same marks are all given in the second row denoted by F. That means 8 numbers of students has got 40 marks, 12 numbers of students has got 50 marks and so on. We have to find out the mean of the number of marks. So our answer by direct method. First write all x values column wise and all f values column wise. Next find out f dot x or f into x. Just multiply 40 into 8, 320, 15, 12, 600 and write. Next find out sum of f. So sum of f equals to sum of all the numbers equal to 60 and sum of fx is the symbol of sum equals to 3660. Next mean of x or x bar is given by sum of fx divided by sum of f which is 3660 divided by 60 equal to 61. This was using normal method and this is the shortcut method. First get into stat mode press mode and 3 press 1 for single variable statistics you can see two columns x where we will enter our x values and second is the frequency column if the frequency column is not visible on your calculator press shift and mode joystick down press 4 for stat and press 1 to on the frequency column and it will be visible next enter the data first enter all x data 40 to enter any data type the number and press the equals to button it will be entered 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. The next press joystick right and scroll up and now enter the frequency value 8, 12, 20, 10, 6, 4. Press AC to clear the screen and press shift and 1 to get into stat sub menu press 5 for variation mode and here you can see x bar press 2 for x bar and press equals to so is our answer 61 using your calculator so how was the trick let me know in the comments below and i will upload another video in which i will tell you how to find out mean using weighted arithmetic mean method so if you want to watch any of my previous videos and my upcoming future videos please visit my youtube channel the link is given in the video description also embedded in this video and if the video has helped you please help me by liking the video using the thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe because by subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me so thanks for watching see you in my next video